Hello, welcome to Words Have Power Murder Hour. My name is Shelly, and today we're going to be talking about true crime. We've already went through videos talking about different forms of abuse. Um, now we're going to take it a little bit different. Yesterday, Tuesday, March 16th, 2021, in Atlanta, Georgia, a man, Robert Aaron Long, went to three separate massage parlors. He killed eight people. Uh, one person was wounded. The reason he gave investigators for doing this was um, that he blamed them for, quote, providing an outlet for his addiction to sex. So he had a problem with an addiction to sex, but for whatever reason, instead of going and fixing himself, finding a therapist, whatever, he decided that a bunch of women that targets that were rich in victims women victims would provide him with the means of fixing whatever was wrong in himself so Isn't this just typical? This is typical. This is a standard, almost boring at this point. And not to say that this killing is boring, that this horrible crime that has been committed, it is not boring. But in the media, they're almost Blase about reporting these things. It's just the sensationalized aspects. But why aren't they saying? Or asking? Was he targeting women? I mean, at least they're picking up on the fact that most of the victims were Asian, four of them were Korean. He says there was no racial aspect to it. Is he also going to say, oh, it wasn't women? He just happened to go to a place where there were women, mostly women, mostly Asian women. Really? Okay. Apparently he's on, he was on his way to um, Florida um, There's a theory that um, he thought there was porn being made in Florida and that he could find the people involved in that potentially and continue because Obviously, for him, the problem wasn't him and something in himself, the problem was women. I would be willing to bet money that he probably has a history of possibly abuse, domestic violence, who knows what, of women. Um, because this is just standard in this culture men will take out any of their grievances or personal problems on women and children. This is a prime example. One of many. So now... So now... Eight people are dead. 
eight different families are going to be grieving. Because he wanted to eliminate the outlet for his sex addiction instead of going and doing the hard work to fix himself people had to die in reality that's what he's saying the media can be really really confusing sometimes I've looked at several articles this other article is saying six of the women were Asian, or six of the people were Asian, and two were white. All six of the Asian victims were women. Um, how is this different from the other young man, which I'll be talking about in another video, who went around around college campus shooting and purposefully trying to target women. When are we gonna say that maybe men should take more responsibility for their own mental issues? And anger. I find it interesting that when law enforcement finally caught up with him, um, a chase ensued and state trooper did what's called a pit maneuver. Now in law enforcement and many jurisdictions, pit maneuvers are um, they're barred. You're not supposed to do them. A pit maneuver is where the police unit will hit usually the back side bumper of a vehicle and kind of push it like one way or the other, whichever side they hit. And that makes the vehicle spin out. It's a dangerous maneuver. It's a dangerous maneuver and it can be dangerous for the law enforcement officer and also for the person in the ve targeted vehicle. Pit maneuvers can also be dangerous for the general public if the vehicle that's being targeted or if the police unit spins out in a bad way, then an innocent passerby, who knows, can be injured or killed, right? So, interesting that for a white guy, they'll do something that is considered inherently dangerous. Kind of seems like if you're not a white guy. I mean... I saved that for other videos. Okay. So he's being held. Um, well, see, here's... I'm getting several different... He's being charged with eight, eight counts of murder and one count of aggravated assault. Um, in another article, it says something different. I have to wonder if he was on his way to Florida. If he was headed to Florida and he had a weapon and ammunition and he had a clear intent to continue his spree in Florida. I just wonder what else is gonna to come to light. Like, I have a lot of questions. Granted, this just happened yesterday. Um, and it's just horrible. But it shows the fact that 
In this culture, many men think it is perfectly acceptable to place the blame for their own internal problems, mental health problems, etc. Uh, off onto women and punish women for the man's problem. This man might not even have ever met some of these women. But it didn't matter. He decided that women needed to be punished for his failings. So now there are eight people who've died. I'll make more videos to update on this. Um, and my heart goes out to the families, friends, co-workers, the whole community. It'll be interesting to see what comes to light about um, this particular scumbag who took all of these lives. So, this is what I've been saying, in part. This guy, it was his responsibility to fix him. These women, these people, who he harmed, it wasn't their responsibility to fix him. To quote Laura Richards um, of a uh, real crime profile, this is astounding hearing an LE officer platform the shooter's narrative, totally missing the point that it's, it's the women he was targeting. It was a target rich environment where he shot six women. Shameful. That's true. Law enforcement seems to be focusing on the fact that it wasn't done because they were Asian. He says that. He says he didn't do it because they were Asian. It wasn't a racist thing. He says that now. There should have been a further question asked of, did he do it because... He was targeting women. That's not even a focal point, it seems like. It's not even a question mark. It seems like. But you know what? It should be a question mark. Uh, mainstream media should be asking, was he targeting women? And let's look at who the victims were. Mostly Asian women mostly women of color being targeted by a white guy. A white man obviously was targeting Asian women. There's your truth. As I said, I will update more as more information comes out. I'll keep an eye on it. Um, yet again, my heart goes out to everyone who's hurt by this. Um, and this just goes to prove that it doesn't matter where you are if you're a woman. Alright, I will see y'all in the next video. Hello, um, if you have enjoyed this video, and if you're enjoying my channel, then please like, subscribe, share, follow, ring the bell, and hit all. Um, comment, all of the above. <laughs> it all helps with the algorithm to get the videos up 
so that people who need them can see them. And that is the whole point of what I'm doing. Um, thank you, and uh, have a good day, night, or whatever. Bye. See you later.